Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. This one's a bit of a quick one, but also kind of a little bit of a fun one. If you guys have kind of been missing it, there's been a really big ongoing conversation when it comes to the brand new PlayStation 5 game coming out soon called Stellar Blade, where people are kind of saying it's like, you know, too focused on women, women's assets, and all that type of stuff, and while people are kind of critiquing it a little bit. On the reverse spectrum, Xbox has also kind of gone very, very on the chill side, where they're trying their best to not go push this, try to almost push like a weird family-friendly vibe, which I'm never against, but just in the whole sake of gaming as a whole, uh, PlayStation's kind of like, whatever. We're going to do what we got to go and do. But right now, PlayStation did a little bit of a power move going on over here to call out not necessarily one-to-one, -one, but basically kind of go and play down the law when it comes to Xbox and how they kind of go and treat the people that are on their platform and what's going on with it. So make sure you guys are subscribed. We have the Twitter and Twitch down below. And right now, we're seeing some kind of interesting stuff for Sony has now been saying, we don't care, we like the waifus, we're going with it, we'll go launch up Stellar Blade, we're going to keep up any game we want, we don't care if we launch Final Fantasy 7 with big old bikini scenes, and at this point, they're getting all the waifus in real life, and also in video games, where Sony actually been, has now been confirmed to hire the superstar Korean cheerleader to go and literally cosplay as the Stellar Blade character, Eve, and basically work with PlayStation as a whole. Now, as I mentioned, Xbox has been, I don't want to say they're against, you know, cute Asian chicks or women in general for whatever reason, but it seems like at this point PlayStation's kind of getting back to their roots, where most gamers don't care, most women don't care, and people just want to enjoy fun, fun games. And if we could also have random, pretty attractive Korean cheerleaders also involved in the game itself, or just in real life too, I'm all for it. And I think a lot of folks out there probably are too as well, because why not? So we've had a very intriguing thing, because the actual uh, Stellar Blade character was actually modeled off a Korean uh, model too as well. And a lot of people were saying, like, oh my god, this is, like, unrealistic, and it's not possible. But it was basically just a one-to-one -one of an actual woman. And right at this point, too, they're kind of getting the name, brand name over here for one of the more popular, uh, I believe, uh, Korean... Just folks out here who's been doing marketing and K-pop and all of this to market the game. And, like, I, I'm not against it. I'm not sure why anyone would really care. I think it's hilarious and awesome at the end of the day. So, basically, Sony is sparing no expense on the promotion of the upcoming PS5 exclusive Stellar Blade in Asia. And, basically, don't forget, people in Japan, Korea, they love the idol culture. They like the VTubers. They like the K-pop boys and girls out there. Uh, and just crazy. Like I've seen BTS going flown around everywhere. I've seen like you know like black jeans, all this stuff. stuff is crazy. Uh, but basically, they're they're down with the waifus. I mean, who's against the waifus at the end of the day? I'm down. Like, why not, bro? I'm a weeb. Like, I'll take with it. Sure, I've been watching Fryer and Doolette at night. Like, I've I've had like whatever, dude. I'll roll with it. But when it comes to this, it's crazy because right now they actually hired the ch Korean cheerleader Lee Dane, which I probably said that wrong, to cosplay the protagonist Eve as part of a meet and greet in Hong Kong and in Taiwan. So basically, saying that there's like a cool gaming event. She shows up, does the cool pictures, hangs out with people puts in the outfits, and basically, like, if people like the waifus, they're going with the waifus themselves. Like, PlayStation's going all in. They don't care. Like, if people critique it for the game, for having, you know, like, a big butt or something like that, like, at the end of the day, they're like, who cares? Buy the game. If it's fun, we're gonna play it. We're gonna, it's a cool game, we're gonna publish it. And I think that's kind of how it should be. At the end of the day, there's kind of no reason not to. Now, this was a little bit of a strange one because Xbox, for some odd reason, took like very strange stances against just waifus. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know why. Like, I mean, I don't think it's super hardcore. They're trying to update their terms of service, whatever. Maybe just bad timing. But we see like PlayStation. And they're out here, and they're like, yeah, we got these hot Korean babes just going and playing our games, and you can play as them too as well if you guys want to check out Stellar Blade. Check out the demo, check out the game, PlayStation, why not? Or as well as they mentioned, we had things like the Final Fantasy game too as well, where Final Fantasy had like most of the characters, like Aerith and Tifa and all that stuff, just doing like bikini scenes. And I don't really see the issue. Like, I've been seeing a lot of controversy, a lot of articles, a lot of like complaints from people, but I made a rant on this a little bit ago. I mean, like a week ago or so, or like Stellar Blade seems like a good game. Like it seems fun. It gives me like Dark Souls vibes and just has cool graphics. Like it seems like, a, like they have to have a demo. Like I mean, I don't know. In this day and age, I don't have any issues with it. They got cute waifus. Like I, I don't, I don't understand why there's people up on like Twitter or on YouTube or making articles and they're mad about it. And once again, I think I kind of talked about this in the prior video. It's like a bunch of dudes. You're like, <laughs> like I could, I, I have. I just know so many chicks. I know a lot of streamer girls. I know a lot of cosplay women. A lot of people who watch like my Twitch streamer chicks. Like, I mean, I don't. I think maybe my YouTube audience is slightly more on the male side, but like on Twitch, but like I have a lot of women gamers. I know a lot of women gamers. I have dated women gamers. Like, it's 
I don't think anyone really cares. Like, I think the only people who actually care about women with, like, big butts or something like that in a video game are the people who don't actually talk to women, who don't vibe with women, who have never hung out with gaming women. And, like, I, I, I always say this. I, mean, I can maybe see the other side, but I don't think I care. Like, bro, like, if the game's fun, the game's fun. And it's kind of crazy because it does seem like Xbox, for some other reason, isn't getting it. I think PlayStation, funny enough, although it's, like, a lot of, like, you know, the Japanese bros and they have, like, the old school, I think, like, the Nintendo, very nationalistic, mature, like, wearing a suit, making sure, like, our video game is the best type vibes. But at the end of the day, like, dude, just make a fun game and vibe it. So they're out here, they're, like, doubling down. Like, they're tripling down at this point. They're like, yeah, we got cute waifus modeling our characters. Bro, we'll go, we'll go hire cute waifus and K-pop stands in real life. Because it's just like, just like, why not? Dude, I don't know. if, Dude, if I had a few billion dollars laying around, which PlayStation does... Dude, I, and I got a marketing budget, dude. I'm Why not? I'll, do, I'll fly to Taiwan, go to some gaming conventions, and just hang out. Like, dude, it sounds fun. And I don't get why people don't like it. So basically, Sony is sparing no expense in the upcoming promotions of Stellar Blade. They hired Lee Don, as I mentioned, Day, at the, uh, basically the cosplay as the protagonist at a part of a meet and greet in Hong Kong and in Taiwan. And anyone, anyone who basically had a chance to pre-order the game would have actually even a chance to attend the event, too, as well, with the, the dancers and such, too, who's basically one of the more prominent models. Now, that can maybe be critiqued a little bit, where basically it's like, hey, buy the game. You have a chance to hang out with a girl. Like, I don't think that helps the gaming, like, stigma, where it's like, hey, you just can't even talk to chicks. And, like, in, th- in all honesty, that is, like, a little bit bad, but... You know, whatever. Like, I'm not, I'm not judging too hard. Whatever. Like, if you want to go get do their meet and greets and hang out with waifus, bro, that's fine. Like, I'm cool with it. Whatever. Uh, but that is kind of like what they're going... They're, like, just doubling down. So, saying, despite surprisingly switching teams from the Taiwan-based Raccoon Monkeys to the Wei Chun... I'm hopefully I'm not saying this wrong. Dragons in Hoshu earlier this year. Li Dai is the most unavoidable figures in Taipei right now, just in case you guys have never seen them. And they're basically advertising everything from iced tea to clothing and much more, now including a two-stellar blade and into her busy schedule she also just made a huge k-pop debut too as well like making music and vibing it just it's just a waifu dude it was like rocking out just a waifu good looking waifu and then yeah they had a chance to go talk about this war as well and they also did have uh, the korean model shin jae-un who also made the actual character itself so it just seems like playstation's like bro people like waifus good looking chicks and I think most gamers do. Like, in all honesty, why not? I think most women who actually play video games don't care. And I think at the end of the day, like, I think PlayStation's doing fine. I don't know why Xbox is kind of against this. Like I mentioned, they've, like, changed terms of services. They haven't really kind of embraced these waifu-type games. But, like, people are meant to have fun and enjoy themselves and have a fun time playing games. And it's kind of just, like, just, it's, like, not real. You know, just, like, we get to enjoy our vibes. Now, this might be a hot take. I don't know. But, like, I'm just going to play the game. I'm just going to enjoy the game. It's going to be a fun time. Like, who, who cares? Like, I don't know. I mean, I can see some people get up in arms over. I can see some people caring about it. But, like, at the end of the day, I'm just going to play a game. And that's what you should do. Like, if you want to play the game, check out the demo. If you don't like the demo, then complete the game. Like, if the game is, like, only just butts and then that's it, sure. But if the game is good and you have the cute-looking character, I don't, what's the problem? You know? I mean, maybe it's a hot take. Maybe you guys disagree. You guys let me know down below. But subscribe if you guys want. Get that Twitter and Twitch from as well down below. And I appreciate y'all for watching here in the first place. Love you guys.